Imagine that I know that you have twice as many apples as me. If all of my apples filled one box, all of your apples would fill two. We can compare my amount of apples to yours in the ratio of one to two. Instead of boxes, we can call the bits of the ratio parts. So the ratio is one part to two parts. What happens if I buy boxes that are half the size? My apples will now fill two boxes and yours will fill four. The ratio is now two to four. We call this an equivalent ratio, which is a fancy way of saying the same. Simplifying a ratio is very similar to simplifying a fraction. You are looking to keep dividing each side of the ratio until you cannot go any further. In the ratio 20 to 30, we can divide both sides by 10 to make 2 to 3. If both ratios are decimals, multiply them by a power of 10 to make them both whole numbers. We can multiply 0.6 to 0.9 by 10 to make 6 to 9 which we can then divide by 3 to give our answer 2 to 3. If the two sides of the ratio are different units, convert them into the smaller unit before simplifying. To simplify 5 metres to 300 centimetres, we would start by converting it to 500 centimetres to 300 centimetres, then divide by 100 to get 5 to 3. Ratios work for all units, so we don't need to show the units anymore. Sometimes you'll be asked for a unit ratio, meaning you will need to make one of the sides one part. To convert 5 to 21 as a ratio of 1 to n, divide both sides by 5 to give 1 to 4.2. Fractions always compare one item to the whole, whilst ratios normally compare two or more items to each other. To convert a ratio to a fraction, you must make sure the denominator includes all of the parts of the ratio. In the ratio 2 to 3, the fraction of the left-hand side will be 2 over 5, and the fraction of the right-hand side would be 3 over 5. Very rarely you may come across a ratio written where the left hand represents an item, but the right hand represents the whole. For example, the ratio of cats to pets is 2 to 5. Cats are a pet, therefore are included in the left and the right hand side. If we wanted to make this a fraction of cats to none cats, we can remove the cats from the right hand side to make it a ratio of 2 to 3. Imagine that each part in a ratio is a box and all boxes must have the same amount of stuff in them. If we wanted to split £50 in the ratio of 2 to 3, we can represent the ratio as two boxes on the left and three on the right. The first step is to figure out how many boxes or parts we have in total. 2 plus 3 will mean that there are five boxes. Nice. I have £50 to give to all my boxes, but each box must contain the same amount. To calculate the amount in each box, we divide 50 by 5, giving us £10 to put in each box. Finally, let's put the money in each box. We have two boxes on the left, each with £10 in, so 2 times £10 is £20. On the right, we have three boxes, which will be 3 times £10, £30. Cheese is split between three boxes, A, B and C, in the ratio of 2 to 4 to 5. C has 15 kilograms more than A. Find the amount in box B. Our goal for these types of questions is to find the amount of each part, but we no longer have the total amount. This is not a problem though, since we know that C has 15 pounds more than A, and C has three more boxes than A, or three more parts than A. So the three boxes contain 15 kilograms. 15 divided by 3 is 5 kilograms, meaning each box contains 5 kilograms of cheese. B has four parts, so 4 times 5 kilograms is 20 kilograms. Anne and Ben split money in the ratio of 5 to 6. Ben has 18 pounds. Find the amount Anne has. Going back to our boxes, Anne has five boxes, Ben has six. We know Ben has £18 split among his six boxes. £18 divided by six gives us £3 in each of Ben's boxes. The boxes in ratios always have the same amount, so Anne's five boxes will each have £3 in. Five times £3 is £15. Anne has £15.